For the last several weeks, we have been transforming the main living spaces of our friend's house. This week, we'll be starting on the last space we'll be working on in this series, the pantry. This space is a blank canvas, and I can't wait to see what Andrea does with it. Before we get started, we want to say thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Simply Safe. Simply Safe is the security system experts trust. It protects your whole home around the clock, 24 seven, every door, window, and room. With a comprehensive set of sensors and cameras, including the all new wireless outdoor security camera, you always know what's going on inside and outside your home. Installation is extremely straightforward and because it's all wireless, you can easily set it up yourself. We were able to set up an entire home monitoring system in just a couple of hours. We have really loved the peace of mind that comes with knowing that our home is well protected and love that we can even check the security cameras while we're away from home. <laughs> We have intruders at the front door. You can save 20% on your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan and get your first month free. Visit simplysafe.com slash DIY wife to learn more. So thank you again to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. And now let's jump into today's project. Hey, wait up. Where are you going? Where are we going? Are you going to tell me where we're going or what? Oh, it's a surprise. All right, so we are going to look at a potential client and project house. It's actually a shed out back that they're wanting to turn into living space. So it'll definitely be unique. It's a tiny house. It could be a fun project. Hopefully it works out. You first walk into the main living space where the client would like to add a small kitchenette and some seating. And then in the back is a good sized bedroom and bathroom. After taking a good look around and getting a better idea of what all needed to be done, we talked with our friend Tyler about all of the construction details so he could get an estimate put together on what it would cost to get this place fixed up. It's easier if I just frame a window in this space. But yeah, I mean, I guess I can find a clean bed into this corner too. Before we step foot inside a house and start working, the process actually begins sometimes months in advance. So today we wanted to take you behind the scenes on a future project that we might be doing. Put that measuring tape on the ground. Let's get yeah. something figured out. Here's what, what we think like a good plan would be. Um, All right, what'd you think? It would be fun. So it'll go out to a client for approval. And if they approve it, then the real work begins. We'll see. Then I'll start really thinking through all the details. The house is cool. I wish we could show you all the actual house. Where are we going now? Lunch. Video eat. A salad. Yes. I want to video eat you eating your burrito. After a quick lunch, we headed over to Home Depot to get supplies for this pantry. My overall plan for the pantry is to have one long wall of floating shelves with a coffee bar down at the end that has a fun wallpaper behind it. First, I brought in the wallpaper so I could pick out the perfect paint color to go with it. Next, it was time to grab some trim and we had to cut these bad boys down so they would actually fit in our minivan. And finally, we grabbed some 2x12s that we'll use for the main shelving and we loaded everything up. You're not doing that right. <laughs> I'm about to show you what I'm all about. I kind of like this whole cameraman thing. No wonder you're always goofing around. You're getting bored holding the camera. That's easy peasy, man. Feel like I want to do something silly. No, it's not really easy. Good job, babe. Good job. Step one of this pantry makeover will be painting this entire room. And so I started by giving the walls a good wipe down and then sweeping the floors. Next, I went ahead and masked off the ceiling because I am going to be spraying this entire room. And as always, this part takes a lot longer than you think it would. This looks like one of the more exciting jobs. I love tedious jobs that have a tendency to be frustrating, like where the tape sticks to the plastic when you don't want it to. <laughs> How can we make paint prep exciting? Hire it out. I was thinking maybe like paint prep dance party. So 
Sorry, I was just trying to make paint prep more exciting because guess what? It's boring! There's no way around it. All right, you're all done? All done. <laughs> Next, we unloaded all of our supplies out of the van. I feel like a pirate plank distributor or something like that. Yard, welcome to Pirate Pete's Planks. We got any kind of planks to be. Paint get, suits coming get the back out. Suit on. Would you look at it? <laughs> look at what? <laughs> the paint color. It's green and it's beautiful. I really want to spray you so bad. After getting my paint sprayer set up, we took everything inside and got ready to paint. Mask, doctor. Thanks. I'm going in for surgery. I went with the color Alpine Trail by Bear, and it complements the wallpaper perfectly. And I really love that you're gonna get this fun pop of color that you can see from all the other living spaces. All right, I'm closing you in. So you can't exactly take a nice camera inside of a small room being painted, but that's okay because you get to spend some extra quality time with me, and I know that's what you want right now. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Okay, so I got way too carried away. Jeez, that hurt. Just got a little elbow scrape. No big deal. A little hand scrape, a little head bonk. Ow, but dude, we're fine. We're good. No big deal. Let's act like that didn't happen. All right, how was it in there? Great. Paint sprayer is fast and efficient. That's your kind of stuff. That's style. my kind of thing. When the paint dries, you just kind of lounge around, I guess. There's not a lot well, to not do. Not always, but today. I'm glad we kept, they kept this old couch for us in the garage. Except it faces out, and there have been times where we're both sitting here, like, taking a break, and so many heads are turning. And just look, I can see their heads, like, turning backwards. As they, like, what are they doing? Hey, Fred. Good to see you. We're just relaxing here on a garage couch. No big deal. After spraying the second coat and giving it a little time to dry, I went ahead and pulled off all of the plastic. And not to repeat myself too many times, but it is crazy what a difference just paint makes. How dreamy. This is the perfect space for a fun color though. You know, dining room, pantry, a laundry room. Those are good spaces to do a fun color. So you may not want to do like your whole living room. Okay, so I'm done painting and we're actually gonna call it quits for the day so this can dry. We'll come back tomorrow. We're gonna float the floor so we continue the laminate in here. It's looking really good. It's cool. I love pops of color like this and like dark colors and bright colors, whatever color. Okay, so I'm back in the pantry and unfortunately I had to come without Dean today. He's finishing up some editing. But I am going to be installing wallpaper. And if this looks familiar, it's because it's the same print that we used in our closet at our house. If you saw that video, it's just the darker version of it. And since I saw this wallpaper, I have loved it. And I think it'll just be so fun. Like you'll get a good peek of it from the kitchen, but it's not like, you know, in a main space, so it's not overwhelming, but I'm gonna be following the same steps that I did in our closet. Real quick, I thought I'd give you a little close-up of what I'm using, and again, it's just this massive four-inch brush that I had on hand. It's probably like for painting fences or something like that, but it picks up a lot of product, makes it really easy to get it on. It doesn't splatter like a roller. I prefer this, I like it. And then I'm using this that I found at Lowe's. It was the only option. It worked great when we used it in our closet, and so I've been happy with it, and I still have some leftover, so that's cool. I'm just making sure I pushed record. <laughs> Hey 
Hey, what do y'all think about it? Uh, How's it feel? Good. Right, what's your mom going to do when she sees it? Cry. She's going to cry. It oh, looks good. What are you doing? What am I doing? I'm pretending to be daddy. We don't have a videographer here today. It's looking so good though. It looks awesome. I'm going to float this entryway real quick into the pantry. And we're like, we have enough of the vinyl planks left over. So we're just going to continue that in here. But so I don't have to do a transition piece. I'm going to actually float the floor down because it's about a half inch higher in the part that's already finished. So if you do a gradual float like that, you can actually continue laying your floor without having to use one of those T-strips as a transition. I've got a nice gradual slope, so you won't even, probably won't even feel it because it was such a small amount. All right, we'll let this dry. Also, I'm at the house with a four and five year old. What are the chances that I can keep this free from little footprints or donkey prints? Hopefully. After finishing up the wallpaper and floating the floor, I went outside to start sanding and staining the shelves. Thankfully, while I was in the middle of sanding, Dean got back and relieved me of my cameraman duties. Hey, Dean's back! We've been editing hard, but hopefully you guys will enjoy it. By the time you see this, they'll have watched the video that you just edited. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. Tell me what you think about the last video, because <laughs> I'm liking it. Get the cameraman back on. <laughs> Like always, when I stain pine, I start out with this pre-stained wood conditioner because it really helps avoid a streaky finish. After that, I stain the shelves in the same color that I used in the rest of the house, Minwax's Early American. By the time I finished staining the shelves, it was time to pick the kids up from school for the weekend, which made this the perfect stopping point for this week's work. Well, great job on this pantry so far. And even with just paint and wallpaper, you can already tell this is gonna look fantastic. Yeah, I actually had kind of a hard time picking a color to go with that wallpaper, but I landed on that beautiful dark green color and it looks perfect. It's just what I had in my mind. It complements the wallpaper perfectly and it has me so excited to finish this space and really see it all come together now. So the adventure continues next week as we look at installing floors, shelves, and just finishing out the space. There's gonna be a coffee bar. And I'm telling you, it is gonna look so, so good. So we'll catch you next week. All right, so, what? <laughs> hey, would you stop interrupting me? I'm trying to say something. We gotta make paint prep fun, man. Are you ready to paint yet or what? Keep going on the most exciting job in the world. I need a pep talk, babe. Come on, get peppy. Yes, you can do this. This is fun. This is fun, fun, fun. Even when daddy takes the T-bird away. T-bird? Uh, I was like, I don't, even, I don't even know what that is. Language. The Beach Boys. Well, yeah, now that you sing it in a song, I didn't know what they were saying. I just sing the song. I see you've got your paint squid out. Paint what? Your paint squid. You don't see it, do you? I didn't even break a smile. That's because you don't appreciate humor. Get your astronaut suit on. Well, Dean wouldn't let me wear my paint clothes today because we were going in public. Because we were going to a client's house, man. They weren't there. Well, excuse me for trying to keep I us professional. I better not have any holes. If I get any paint on these jeans, I'm going to be really mad. You know, one idea might be to bring a change of clothes. What happened when I was painting? I had a little accident. You poor, you <laughs> poor baby. I'm not a baby. I'm a man. I just watched the replay and I told him, he has to fit that in video. <laughs> I can't believe I actually got that on camera. I can't That's believe I did. That's pretty awesome. <clears throat> okay, can we go get lunch? Yeah. We gotta take all of our stuff.